have one of these canister style vacuums, uh, maybe specifically one from Miele, a very high-end German company. Um, you may run into a problem with it once in a while. And this is kind of another example of how features equal failure modes. In other words, when you add a feature um, to a product, you sometimes introduce additional failure modes or issues in, in ways in which it can fail. We do like these canister vacuums, they're high quality, but they have a couple issues and this is one of them. So uh, Miele decided that unlike its competitor Kenmore, they didn't want this cord to run on the outside of the hose. They wanted to run inside to not get snagged and to probably look a little bit more elegant, those kinds of things. And uh, I get that, but creates a new failure mode and that is the debris that gets trapped inside of here. And what happens is basically at the top there where you see the white hose coming in, um, it creates like a hook that catches hair and all kinds of things. So obviously uh, debris comes in like this, but that white hose is running this way. So it creates like a, a hook. And I have to clean this out every like two months. We have two women in the house, so we get some hair caught in there. Um, but it's just a really, I mean, honestly, it's like a really bad design um, and it creates a lot of failure modes. What I find works best um, is some long pliers like this, which probably most people don't have. <laughs> uh, an alternative is a brush like this, but the hair is really the problem. So I'll pull it out now and then I'll show you just how much was out now. Um, here you can see even better. Uh, just kind of the hook trap that is created by the cord going in there. And uh, in this case, some of my son's string made it in there. But um, yeah, you can just see it just gets trapped really bad. It's mostly hair that is the issue. Um, but it's, it's just a bad design, honestly. Uh, I would have expected something a little bit better. This was like a $600 vacuum, which I do regret buying. I wish we had just bought the cheaper Kenmore. Um, but we had some friends recommend Mila. They said they were just super worth it. And then they kind of didn't realize that the prices were so much higher here in the States than Germany. In Germany, they're much more reasonably priced. Um, so we really ended up overpaying for this and it's worked great for 10 years. It's just a couple of those little design issues. So anyway, when you're buying something, um, you got to think about, you know, what they're advertising to you, you know, bagless or, whatever like there's kind of always a downside and as thomas soul says there's no solutions only trade-offs and so it's like well the solution for not having the cord on the outside is put in the inside but then it's a trade-off because now you have this new failure mode because the inside is not perfectly smooth and debris can't just rush past it so anyway maybe this little tip uh, helps somebody um again players like this um you gotta gotta push the debris that way to get past the hook and then pull it around um normal needle nose pliers you know, would, would also work, but the longer ones, the better. Um, anyway, hope that helps somebody. It's kind of, a, I'm just kind of filming little pieces of my life here and there that might be interesting to the world and might be helpful. So take it for what it's worth. Give it a thumbs down if you want. Have a good one.